This is Miss Bomi and I am back in the kitchen. Um, today I am going to do a recipe for uh, smothered burritos. This recipe is called Simply Smothered Burritos and this is for FJ55 Iron Pig. Uh, one of my previous videos he had commented and asked, hey, could you do smothered burritos? Just tell him no, I do all the time. <laughs> That was KB, not me. <laughs> Anyways, this is a, a pretty simple, easy recipe. Uh, what you're going to need is about a pound of ground beef. You're going to need one 10 ounce can of your green chili enchilada sauce. And you're going to need about 3 fourths cup of salsa verdea. Four tortillas, uh, 10 inches around. Uh, warmed and then uh, one and a half cups of uh, shredded cheddar cheese. I'll probably add a little bit more cheese because why? why? I'm all about the cheese. That's what you do. <laughs> Just saying. So in this bowl here, I have already went ahead and cooked up my, my meat. And um, just to spice it up a little bit, I did add a little bit of onion, which you probably can't see in here. <coughs> And also a little bit of uh, taco seasoning. Because I know that, you know, KB likes things a little bit more on the spicy side. Me not so much, but him so much. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my pan you've here. Had, you've had Josh's get these. homemade salsa or sauce. I did? Is that a little blue bottle? Oh, yeah, it was. That's right. That was good. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, it was, Josh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hint, hint, KB. <laughs> Remember that little empty blue bottle that I showed you? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that one. I forgot I need another bowl here because I have to use this for mixing up some stuff. Okay, um, you're also going to need one pound to do your baking for your smothered burritos. Uh, make sure that the temperature is at 375 for your oven. Usually once we get this all together it takes about 10-15 minutes, maybe a little bit longer depending upon your oven. So in another bowl here that we got we're going to combine the enchilada sauce and the verdea together and I'm sure I'm not probably pronouncing that correctly. Put that into a bowl. All right, put that aside. Hope everybody's having a good weekend so far. Weekends go by too fast, don't they? It's all of a sudden, bam, Monday morning, or as I like to call it, Monday. Sunday. That time when you know it's no longer Sunday, and Monday when you got to go to work. Just saying. I think I saw that on Facebook. Okay. Anyways, got that together, stirred that all together, put the mixture in there, and now if we want to, um, okay, and then we add a half cup of the mixture into the beef and stir the combination. All right. Just gonna rinse this out I just used just a moment ago. Yeah, cheers, Lars. Who's that Lars guy? <laughs> I don't know, but if I ever meet him, I'm going to punch him right in his face. No, no, no. <laughs> snap a beer and walk away. <laughs> this said like half the mixture. Spoon two thirds of the uh, half cup of the mixture. Here it goes. It's not really my favorite color green, just saying. So, okay, I can get this in my 
next up, I think I might steal just a little bit more here. There we go. together. Now I have a little bit more than a pound of hamburger here. I might have enough to make five of these rather than four. And you're going to have to pardon me for just one minute. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I had to get another plate out of the cupboard here. Okay. <clears throat> now it says to sprinkle each with like three sp with teaspoons of shredded cheese. You're going to fold the sides, um, the sides in the end and, and then give it a, a good roll once you get all your mixture in here. Let me grab some cheese. This recipe, as you can tell, I'm gonna still run along. Over those directions. Blah, blah, blah. It almost sounded like the working instructions for when a heffy's blind date. <laughs> I'm not going there. Not going to happen. <laughs> Just saying. All right. So you're gonna head, go ahead and put your. I don't know if you can see this very well, because. You probably could substitute chicken for this instead of beef. I know what it calls for in the recipe, is, you know, but just gotta have a little extra cheese, maybe eyeball it a little bit better than what I'm doing here. Because I'm just trying to give you guys the idea of how to do these. Okay. There we go. Get this rocking and rolling. There we go. I'm gonna finish putting the rest of these in the pan here and I'll be back with you in just a minute. Okay, I'm back and I've got them done. There are my four, as you can see, right there. So what we have left is the remaining sauce. I don't know if you can call it that, but that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> Just Sam. Okay, so four of these into uh, a pre-greased pan. We fold and fill them. We roll them up. We place them in there. They're ready to go. So now you're going to pour, pour the remaining sauce on top of here, like so. Hence the smothered burritos. Sink. Then you're going to use your remaining amount of cheese to put on top of that as well. Okay, so it should look something like that. I'm sorry, I can't quite figure out the angle on here. All right, so now we're gonna just put this in the oven uncovered at 375 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes or a little bit longer than depending upon how hot your oven is and your cheese melting. And of course this makes for burritos. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, pop this in the oven and we'll be back with you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back in the kitchen and as you can see, uh, these are done gonna move this aside so you can see a little bit closer here this is still extremely hot but uh, you get the idea so uh, 
That's it. I used more cheese than what the recipe called for. Oh yay, there's a surprise, right? Yeah, okay. So, um, sorry I kind of fumbled through the recipe. <laughs> Even though it was an easy one, I don't know. I have no excuse. Um, the only thing that I'm going to do in addition to what the recipe calls for is I'm going to go ahead and add some sour cream and a little bit of fresh chive. So I'm going to grab one of these out of here if I can very, very carefully, I might add. That's cheesy. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and top this off with a little bit of sour cream. And a little bit of chive. I lost some of my cheese. Hang on just a second. Guess it's all about the cheese. Put a little dabble there on the end. Okay. Got a little extra too. Hmm. Let's see if I can make that a little bit more presentable. Try it anyway. So KB, you want to give this a shot? This is the first time that I've tried this recipe, so I'm hoping that you like it. So there's my enchilada. Sorry, I know it's still kind of hot and it's dribbling all over the place. Melt eating it. <laughs> Make sure you get a little bit of everything on there. I got to go in the middle here. Uh, it's an easy recipe. There's not too many ingredients to, get, to do it, so it probably will take you about a half an hour all together from start to finish. Is that... <laughs> oh, go, great, do that on camera. <laughs> well, he took my dish and he ran, but <laughs> there you go, you get the idea. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, FJ55 Iron Pig, that one was for you, and uh, that's it for now. Mm -hmm. Until next time, this is Miss Bomi, good night, good eats, wherever you are.